Welcome back to this series of lessons on dynamic branch predictions. The topic of this lesson is tournament, branch predict tournament predictors and branch prediction accuracy. Actually, I start with some branch prediction accuracy results. This figure shows the misprediction rate, so the number of mispredicted branches divided by the total number of branches executed for three different branch predictors. These results have been taken from a paper by Evers and Ye called Understanding Branches and Designing Branch Predictors for High Performance Microprocessors that appeared in the Proceedings of the IEEE in November 2001. The horizontal axis shows the prediction table size in bytes and the vertical axis shows the misprediction rate. The misprediction rate is averaged over several spec benchmarks. Three different branch predictors are compared. The local history branch predictor, the global history branch predictor and the G-share predictor. Two conclusions can be drawn from these results. First, the prediction accuracy increases with the size of the predictors, which is of course not surprising. Second, the G-share predictor is more accurate than the other two, but only so for large predictor sizes and even then only marginally. I don't know about you, but I am somewhat disappointed, expecting that G-share would perform better. To gain some insight why G-Share does not perform better, this figure shows the misprediction rate for G-Share and the local history branch predictor, both with a size of 64 kilobyte. In this figure, however, the results are not averaged over all benchmarks, but the results per benchmark are shown. The horizontal axis shows the benchmark. While G-Share performs better than, than the local history branch predictor across all benchmarks, for some benchmarks, it does not. For example, for Compress and Integer JPEG, the local history branch predictor performs better. What does this teach us? It tells us that the design of a hybrid or tournament predictor could make sense. Such a predictor should combine the advantages of different branch predictors. The idea behind a hybrid or tournament branch predictor is to employ two or maybe even more branch predictors. For example, one could be based on local as well as global history information such as G-Share and the other could be based solely on local information. Then the hardware selects between them depending on their accuracy. In other words, the predictors are constantly competing with each other and the one that is more accurate for a particular branch is allowed to make the prediction for that branch. This can again be modeled as a finite state machine as shown here. In this example we use two predictors, predictor 1 and predictor 2. Predictor 1 is allowed to make the prediction when we are in one of the blue states and predictor 2 is used when we are in one of the red states. Every arrow is labeled with two bits. For example, 1, 0 means that predictor 1 correctly predicted the branch while predictor 2 incorrectly predicted the branch. For example, when we are in the light blue state and both predictors are correct or both predictors are incorrect, then we stay in the same state since the other predictor did not predict better. On the other hand, if we are in the light blue state and the other predictor correctly predicted the branch, while the currently used predictor mispredicted, we go to the light red state so that, that the next time the other predictor is used. Virtually all modern high performance cores employ such advanced tournament branch predictors. This figure compares the accuracy of two, two tournament predictors and G-Share. The blue line is the misprediction rate of G-Share. The red line is the misprediction rate of a tournament predictor based on the bimodal predictor and G-Share and the green line corresponds to the misprediction rate of a tournament predictor based on the local history branch predictor and G-Share. For the exact sizes of the different tables, I refer you to the papers of Evers and Ye. It can be seen that the local G-Share predictor performs substantially better than G-Share alone, but also than the bimodal G-Share tournament predictor. Moreover, substantially better results are obtained for smaller table sizes. Note that for the largest table size, 256 kilobyte, only about 3% of the branches are mispredicted. This slide summarizes the different branch predictors we have seen in the, in the last three lessons and their table sizes. The, simp the simple one-bit scheme uses n bits from the PC to n index the branch history table 
and therefore its table size is 2 to the power of n entries. The 2-bit or bimodal scheme is very similar but uses 2-bit entries and changes its prediction only if it mispredicted twice. The local history branch predictor uses two table which I call the level 1 and level 2 tables or L1 and L2 for short. The L1 table is a table of m bit local histories and is indexed by n bits from the PC so its size is m times 2 to the power of n. The L2 table is indexed by the local history obtained from the L1 table and its size is 2 to the power of m entries and each L2 entry is 2 bits wide. The global history branch predictor uses an n bit global history register to index the table and therefore its size is 2 to the power of n entries. Gselect concatenates n bits from the PC with m bits of global history to obtain an index that is n plus m bits wide. The table therefore has 2 to the power of n plus m entries. Finally, the Gshare predictor uses the exclusive OR of n bits from the PC and n bits of global history to index the table. Thus its table has 2 to the power of n entries. Finally, the size of a tournament predictor is obtained by adding the sizes of the two predictors and the table for selecting between the two predictors. For example, a tournament predictor based on bimodal and G-share requires separate tables for the bimodal predictor and for G-share. One table can have 2 to the power of n entries and the other can have 2 to the power of m entries. And it requires a selection table with 2 to the power of the minimum of n and m entries. Each entry in the selection table typically consists of two or three bits. The selection mechanism described a few slides ago requires two bits. Evers and Ye, however, used three-bit entries because they found that three-bit entries provided better results. When comparing different branch predictors, however, one should of course compare predictors of the same size. Finally, an exercise to test yourself. Suppose a particular branch has the following behavior not taken, then taken, then not taken twice and then taken twice and finally not taken three times and then taken three times. Now assume that the initial prediction is not taken. The question is how often would a one-bit branch history table mispredict? You should assume that there are no conflicts in the branch history table between different branches. Similarly, how often would the bimodal predictor mispredict this branch, assuming the initial prediction is weakly not taken or 0, 1. Finally, how often would the global predictor with a 3-bit global history mispredict this branch? Here you should assume that initially the global history is 0, 0, 0 and that every counter is initialized to 0, 1. The second exercise asks you to explain how the G-share predictor works. This completes this lesson. Thank you for watching. In the next lesson I describe speculation, which is a technique in which we not only predict what the next instruction in the instruction will be, but also start executing the predicted instruction. Hope to see you back.